I'm the um, Presidential Scholar for Drug Discovery at Purdue University and also the Ralph C. Corley Distinguished Professor of Chemistry. Fluorescence guided surgery is a technique that enables the surgeon to see more cancer and if the surgeon can see more cancer then he or she can resect it and, and since uh, the only absolute cure for cancer is to remove all of the disease tissue. Being able to see it and, and uh, resect it and remove it in, in, in its entire entirety is really very important to curing the disease. Okay, if you were a patient coming in to have a, a malignant lesion resected, um, the uh, tumor-targeted fluorescent dye would be injected intravenously, for example, just into your arm vein uh, about an hour or two before surgery. Uh, it doesn't hurt. It has uh, little if no effect on you except that, that it um, circulates through the body, binds specifically to cancer cells, and clears from all the healthy cells. So when the surgeon uh, in an hour or two performs the surgery under a fluorescent light, those cancer cells that took up this bright fluorescent dye glow like uh, stars in a dark night, and uh, the healthy tissue is not highlighted at all. This allows a, the a surgeon to see uh, malignant disease that he or she would otherwise overlook or not be able to detect. And removing these hidden lesions is really critical to the eventual survival of the patient. Well, um, the reason why I uh, engaged or undertook to design tumor-targeted dyes that would go very specifically to the cancer tissue is, cause, is because I believe that it will save lives. And I think it's very important to try to find ways to reduce the unnecessary mortality rate associated with uh, development of cancer. So um, I think it's really a critical step forward in changing the art and practice of surgery from simply feeling and trying to see a distinction between normal tissue and cancer tissue, which often look very similar if not identical, and enabling the surgeon to be able to brightly visualize you know, the, the disease tissue and remove it. The reason why a surgeon should use fluorescence-guided surgery is that um, many cancers, and I've heard a general uh, estimate of about 40% of cancers recur at the site of the original mass. That means the surgeons have gone in and tried to remove all of the uh, cancer cells, but somehow they've left some behind. In some cases, it's because they actually remove, uh, they leave a little bit of the edge of the cancer, that's called a positive margin, in the tumor bed, and so that regrows. In other cases, there are, there are metastatic uh, nodules that that uh, spread from the original malignant lesion to adjacent sites, and they don't see them. They're in there looking, trying to remove all that they can find. They don't see these extra cancer nodules, and because of that, after the surgery, those continue to grow and eventually lead to um, you know, continued disease or even the death of the patient. What I would do is I would just invite them to look at some of the videos that we have taken of surgeries that have been performed by um, surgeons uh, in uh, the lung cancer uh, surgery area, ovarian cancer surgery. We have videos of those removing brain cancer lesions, others in kidney cancer. And in all cases, they're extremely convincing that uh, if you can see the tumor tissue so much more vividly, uh, it's so much easier to assure that you have removed it all. And just showing the surgeon uh, one or more of these videos turns out in general to be very convincing. Uh, yes, um, I'm, I'm going to uh, share an experience, okay? Um, the University of Pennsylvania uh, decided to advertise the show and show some of these videos on television in the, in the Philadelphia area. And uh, the videos that they used were actually videos showing our tumor-targeted dyes d intraoperatively during a, a real surgery on a real patient. And I think they only advertised twice in the next month um, their um, patronage by all of the people in, in uh, the Philadelphia area skyrocketed. It's, it turned out to be extremely convincing. 
I, I know you don't want to hear this and you can cut this off, but their revenues increased by a million dollars in one month. <laughs> Thank you.